Hi guys and welcome to a my job rating video. So I've seen this from IDUPS that then some other YouTubers copied and like um, I don't know I didn't have really a ranking that I could do without like being punished by YouTube so I'm just doing my job experience since now. Uh, I'm a 20 year old guy and I still have some life left to live but I already got some work experience so let's just jump into it. So I'm gonna go in chronological order just so I can keep track of somewhat. Um, so the first job I worked as a bank, em bank employee and to be honest with you it was pretty shite the first job I had. It was an internship at a bank and to be honest I was where was I even I think it, yeah I was in the cash department but I didn't see any cash it just false money that's what I want to say uh, I would rank this a I almost wanted to put it in E but then again I, I have to put it on E because like it was boring as shite like I could I could do anything I really wanted because nobody gave a shit about me. I was happy when I got out and I never wanted to go back. And then I changed bank. So basically when I changed bank I wasn't in the cash department. I was at front office and I actually had to deal with people. I enjoyed that. I really did. I put this in B tier because like I will only put like stuff. My dream job would be S tier. The job I most enjoyed since is an A tier and the rest is just, you know, you know me. So I really enjoyed it. I got paid very good. And I don't know, the atmosphere was nice, the people I talked to was were nice. I did some make some mistake, okay? I, I have to admit it. But when I did I owned it. And that's it. I really enjoyed it. I didn't like they didn't want me to keep me longer because I was just there for six months and my contract ran out and they wanted to give me a new one because I was just there because some other woman got the child or some shit and now she she came back and yeah you know what, what I mean. The next one, hmm, what was the next job after that? Because of course I was uh, searching for a job. It was this one. This was customer support at a big um, big what was it like furniture company I put it on D tier cuz it wasn't like at E the the my boss was actually really cocky like we had to went down in the first to the first floor to go take a PP and then go back upstairs because and she didn't wasn't that, and we weren't allowed to drink or eat or something so it was pretty shy but on the I don't know it just made me made me sad it made me sad because I wasn't happy I couldn't express myself I couldn't do what I really wanted to do so I quit I quit that job because I really it wasn't my job now for the big guns, for the big poo poo pile of shit that I've ever seen in a human being, the F tier. This actually was legitimately the worst job anyone could ever have. It's not necessarily the job that was shite. By the way, it's this movie poster. Oh shit, it's a pixel. But, it, but like. The job wasn't necessarily the worst part about it. It was the boss. It was awful. Like, you know, there are some people that you just don't go along, you know? And if it's if you don't go along, it's okay. I'm fine. I can deal with a lot of people. I can deal with from Nazis to anti-fascists. I can deal with everybody. But this person, this person was the human trash. Wait. Why did I put that there? This isn't 
this was the job. It's hell. It's hell from Dante. It's hell because it was the worst. Okay, it was the worst. Sorry for the wrong image, but it was the worst. Um, that's when like I had to go undergo surgery because I broke my balls. PewDiePie, you're next. Um, that's a long story. It was awful. It was just awful. The the person I worked with, like I don't think anyone can go along with this person. I am the person that stayed the lo the most with her, and was that was two months. I stayed two months and then what left? I quit. I couldn't deal with her. And you know when someone with the calm and the acceptance of myself sorry I, I know I'm being extra humble but like two months I survived two months and that's the max any employee ever survived you gotta realize that something is wrong not with the, your employees but with yourself I quit and that's where I found my recent job. Hold on there, young kid. Um, this is me from the future, and this video was recorded a while ago. This is not my recent job. Um, this is a past job. Um, I still uh, went on to become an accountant, and that would be in like ED tier, somewhere between that and yeah i just wanted to clear things up this is not my recent job uh this is a video an old video that i recorded a while ago and i'm just now correcting myself just imagine the think uh, uh image is accounting and i put that in uh e or d tier okay that's all i want to say which is actually fuck me up. which is actually uh i gotta say it's actually an a tier job because like I am in the graph in the graphic department and it's just amazing I got amazing co-workers the atmosphere is nice it just I just feel good it's not my dream job though my dream job would be to be a movie director that's where my goal is set I hope that one day I can achieve that goal and be proud of myself. So that would be it, my job experience. We went from hell to heaven. So, okay, wait, what do we got here? Let me... Uh, so this is... Uh, real... Oh, fucking hell. Never mind. Jeez, are you okay? Gimp! Gimp! You fucking retard, come on. Put, it put yourself together. So this was real estate agent. This was at a bank. This was at a furniture store. Not Ikea, by the way. This was at another bank, which I'm actually still in. Like, I ha still have that bank account. This is the job I have right now. Again, I don't really have it right now. I quit because of personal reasons. And uh, yeah, I went to the accounting job and uh, now I am pursuing another job that I will say when I have it. That's all. As a graphic designer. And this is my dream job, a director. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.